Hi, we're here with Niels Kongi. He has uh, just completed uh, his first term in City Council and he's decided to run for a second term. So, uh, Niels, tell us why you are pursuing a second term in City Council. Uh, well, it's, um, you know, it's been, uh, there's been a lot of work that's happened in the last three years. Uh, some of it's not finished yet and, uh, you know, I certainly like to finish what I start. Um, the one thing that I really had wanted in the first term that hasn't happened yet was is a review of the Planning and Lands Department and uh, you know now more than ever I think that's going to be really important for, for the future of Yellowknife. Okay. You mentioned that. Uh, maybe talk about some of the other issues. There's been a lot. I remember, I remember the first election uh, uh, administration was, was one of the big issues just about how things are being run at City Hall. Have you identified some others? Uh, well, homelessness, that hasn't gone away. Um, we have the 50th and 50th, call it what you want, initiative, park, whatever it is. Um, you know, I think that, that those are certainly issues that, that people will be uh, talking about. And uh, affordability. Uh, is Yellowknife affordable and how do we make it more affordable so we can keep people in town? I think those will be some of the main issues. Maybe tell us about some of your ideas to, to sort of fix these issues. Well, for, um, you know, the 50th and 50th, I, I don't agree with what is proposed currently. I think that um, we need to deal with the root cause in our downtown, and I believe that that root cause is our homelessness and our addiction issues. Um, the easy answer is homelessness and addiction are territorial issues. The reality is uh, that the city is, has to take a role of some sort. Um, you know, I think the Housing First initiative is, is a good initiative and there's, you know, hopefully that will uh, get pushed a little bit more. Uh, what would you like to see at that 50-50 lot? Uh, do you agree with the uh, plan presented by uh, City Administration? I do not agree with the plan that's currently presented. Um, you know, I made the comment that we had two benches in front of the post office and we couldn't manage those. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that that is that really represents where the city is right now, where we are, in that, you know, we don't have a plan, we can't, we can't, we don't, we don't know what to do with what's happening in the downtown. So we need to deal with that, or come up with a plan to try to deal with that before we start putting in more infrastructure that I don't believe will be utilized. Mm -hmm. You know, six and a half million dollars is a lot of money. And uh, maybe if we redirected that stuff to other initiatives, we could get better results. Okay. Uh, I think there was some discussion over the term about uh, property taxes and whether they've, uh, the, 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 there's a, an issue of, of fairness. I, we looked at, we saw what happened at Cam Lake. We are a resident of Cam Lake. You, you have a business at Cam Lake. You certainly spoke a, a lot about that uh, during your time in council. Maybe you want to just sort of share your perspective on, on property taxes and whether uh, right now uh, they're, they're, things are going the way they should or they're not? Well, I think that, um, you know, there was a lot of talk when we had our uh, general assessment last time. And, uh, you know, I, we had a lot of people came to council and spoke about what their issues were and problems that they had. And I think it all ties into the affordability. <clears throat> so we certainly need to look at it. Um, <clears throat> I have a, there's a motion forward right now to administration that they need to look at our mill rates and come back with some alternatives. Um, you know, Cam Lake, if we talk about that one specifically, the level of service there isn't the same as what it is in the downtown. Um, and I think you can look at all the different business regions in town and also the residential regions. You know, like some, some areas of town are, are serviced, other areas are not. Should the taxes be the same? Mm -hmm. So that is before administration right now, and I do hope to see that through. Okay. Are there any other, quickly, just are there any other issues you'd like to pursue if, you, if you're re-elected? Well, I think that there's still a disconnect between the community and administration, and uh, you know, all the staff took a customer service course at the beginning of last term, and I think we need to expand on that and, and really try to figure out a way where we're more connected with the community. Okay, well, thanks very much, Niels, and good luck in the election. Thank you. Okay.